Hello everyone, good morning, happy Wednesday. So I'm here with Camilo, we came for a little walk. Say hi, Papa. Say hi. So um, I just wanted to hop on real quick and kind of talk about something. Uh, your life or building an audience for you. Oh, I just feel so good. So basically, if you guys haven't heard of the book called, hi Myra, if you haven't heard of the book called Miracle Morning, um, there's two books, two or three, I think. There's one for like Miracle Morning for like regular, I don't want to say regular people, but just in general. And then there's one for network marketers. And I think there's another one, but I'm not too sure. But if you haven't read that book, hi Gabby, I highly, highly recommend it, you guys. Hi Lisa, um, get it on your phone, on your tablet, on your iPad, Miracle Morning. It's a quick read, but it's a really good book. So here is why I believe that every mom should have a miracle morning. So basically, it could be any time that is suitable for you. I mean, it could be 4 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever. You know, we all have different lifestyles and we all have different responsibilities and stuff like that. But, I mean, I mainly want to get this message out to moms, whether you have one kid, two, three, four, however many, or even if you're pregnant, start it now. But basically, the miracle morning is getting up before the rest of the world does. Getting up before your kids do, getting up before your husband does, um, getting up and doing something for yourself before the whole world needs you. You know, as a mom, we pour so much of our energy and our love into our kids and our spouse that at the end of the day, let's be honest, we have nothing left for ourselves and that's draining and it's very easy to fall into a depression that way. It's very easy to gain weight that way. It's just, it's very easy to fall into a very negative, dark place. So, um, again, read that book, Miracle Morning. If you guys hate reading, get it on Audible. Get the Audible app on your phone. I'm sure by now we all have smartphones. So make it happen. So basically in that book, the guy tells us that most successful people have a morning routine. They have a miracle morning, meaning they get up and they do something for themselves before the rest of the world needs them. So this includes daily exercise, daily personal growth, whether you're listening to audio or reading a book. Hi, I couldn't pronounce your name. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but for me, like the most important thing is just getting up and having some sort of routine. And, you know, I get up at five and not every day is perfect, you guys. I don't want you guys to think that I'm perfect, but I want you to know that the daily effort is what counts. So having that routine before your kids get up. And trust me, I've been there, you know, Camilo's only 17 months old, so I don't want you guys to give me the excuse that, oh, my baby's little right now and he's still nursing. Like, I've been through all of that, you know, like the waking up several times at night and, you know, right now he has nightmares and sometimes he doesn't sleep, you know, when they're teething and all that stuff. So it's the daily effort that counts. So I get up at five and I work out and then I do, you know, and I try not to work out for more than 30 minutes. Again, you know, I want to get through like my routine really fast before he wakes up. Like yesterday he woke up at six and I'm like, dang, you know, he's supposed to wake up till seven. So he cut my routine in like half by an hour. So it's important to just make that sacrifice and get up early. And I trust me, no matter how tired you are from the night before, whatever happened, you're going to feel so much better. Seriously, test me on that. Go try it for one week and message me and tell me how you feel. I bet you're gonna feel more energetic, you're gonna feel more at peace with yourself and you're gonna feel happier. You're gonna have a better attitude and you're gonna have more patience for your kids because you got up. And let's be honest, it's okay to be selfish with ourselves. Because when we take care of ourselves, we can take care of our kids and our spouse. If you're not taking care of yourself first, everything's out the door and your house is a mess. I'm just being honest. <laughs> um, so get up early, get in a workout. It doesn't have to be more than 30 minutes. Do your prayer, whatever you do. I encourage you guys to read something positive and, and, and uplifting in the morning, something that's going to help you grow as a person that just changes your attitude. If you don't like reading, listen to it. And then, you know, do house chores or whatever you have to do. If you guys are a coach that's following me, get your coach business work done in the morning. Get that power hour in. Um, you know, make your to-do list for the day. And for the most of us, I mean, if you guys go to a job, well then, you know, you have to get ready, get the kids ready. So this doesn't have to be more than an hour. Um, and break it into like 20 minutes of inc like a 20 minute increment and I bet you guys you guys are gonna feel so much better so today's my first day of work and I'm testing it out but I think I have a new miracle morning so right now I think it's a little bit before 9 a.m. I didn't check the time but oh, Camilo's like sitting down <laughs> so I got up at 5 I did not work out because my lower back still hurts but I did get up and I read something 
uplifting and inspiring. I did a little prayer. I listened to a mo motivational video and then I started doing my coaching work. I started checking in with my clients, responding to emails, all that good stuff, scheduling stuff for my team for the rest of the month. And then Camila woke up and I was a happy camper and I was more than welcome to like cuddle him. And I, you know, I got him up, brushed his teeth. I gave him breakfast. We had breakfast together and now we're we, you know, we're doing a little morning walk and the weather is perfect right now. It's not too hot. I'm going to go back, shower, and then get ready for my, for my job, my day job, which is cool that it's part-time because I feel like I can still have that me time. Um, but moms, seriously, test me on this. Create your own miracle morning. If you guys need help with that, please message me. I don't want you guys to think that you have to get up at like 3, 4 a.m. and have like this two, three hour routine. It could be as simple as 30 minutes, an hour. Make it you, like make it yours, like something that fits your lifestyle and your goals. If you guys are gonna go to work, if you guys have a full-time job, break that up. If you wanna get your workout in the morning, do that. And if you don't have time for personal development, listen to it in the car when you're driving to work or read a book on your lunch break while you're eating. That's, you know, we're great multitaskers. <laughs> and late at night, end the day, you know, by journaling, prayer, something. But the whole point of the Miracle Morning is to do it first thing in the morning before the rest of the world wakes up and before everyone else needs you. Um, so fill your cup up first before you can fill up other people's cup. So that's my message for you guys today. I hope you guys utilize it. And I hope that you guys test me on it. Try it. Let me know and send me a message. I'm going to give it a shot now that's, oh yeah, now that Eli started school. Am I saying that correctly? Because my, nep my nephew's name is Eli and we call Elijah, but we call him Eli. Megan, I like to spend 20 minutes when I wake up and cruise my phone. That's good too. <laughs> I do that sometimes too and I, I try to just stick to like positive feed, stuff that's going to motivate me and stuff like that. Hi, Kat. Hi, Crystal. Um, hi, Nina. Yes, Eli. Okay, so I hope that you guys try it. Give yourself seven days. Do it every day. I know it's a sacrifice getting up early, but I promise you guys it's so worth it, especially if you're a mom. Just be selfish and make a little bit, make, a, make some time for yourself first before your kids and your spouse need you. And I promise you, you will just have a more peaceful heart and you will be happier and you'll have more natural energy. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys try it. Have a good day. Bye.